What's happening? What's happening? What's happening, ladies? I got a special treat for you today. As a lot of y'all know, I started that Patreon account, putting together Little Tops Company, and my man Steve Gallagher from out in California was one of the first ones to step up and say he wanted in. Took one of my platoon sergeant spots, and one of the perks is I get to talk to him face to face. Steve, how you doing, my man? I'm doing fantastic, first sergeant. How's the how's the day going? Uh, it's going pretty well. Going pretty well. So you way out in California. What's it like, 9 o'clock in the morning out there? Uh, close. It's actually close to 1,700 right now. It's uh, still sunny outside, but the traffic is just getting pretty crappy right now. So uh, you haven't missed much. All right. Well, now, now you're a veteran. T- tell me about your time in service. Well, um, I enlisted in the Army in 2010. And about four months after that, left to go to uh, Fort Jack in the best place in the world, said no one ever. <laughs> um, and then from there, I uh, went to Fort Lee, Virginia for my MOS school, which is uh, 92, Yang- or 92 Foxtrot. Uh, in other words, I was a fueler. Um, and then after that, I went to Korea for a year um, and uh, was there when uh, Kim Jong-un's father, uh, Kim Jong-il, died. That was fantastic times. Uh, then I went to the best uh, unit that I ever could imagine, which was the 101st Airborne Division, Air Assault. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Yep, yeah, it was there in 2012. Uh, I got to deploy in 2013 to Afghanistan uh, with the Kurhi Brigade of 506 Infantry, um, and then came back to finish my time on active duty. Um, from there, uh, transferred to the reserves, uh, went out to uh, Camp Pendleton, California. There's actually an Army Reserve base there, uh, which turned out to be the worst two years I spent there because the leadership there just sucked and were completely filled with political correctness. So I just sent them out and uh, just transferred to IRR two years ago, and in about two months I will be completely done with all my obligation service. All right. Well, I do know you're a big supporter of the veteran community. We've talked a lot about that. So thank you what you do for both the people in uniform and the vets out there. I appreciate that. I, I do the same thing for for you and anyone else. And uh, that's the big thing is that we have to support each other. We've got to help each other out. And uh, hopefully that kind of gives some positive feedback and to encourage others to do the same thing. Now, we both spend a little time in uniform. Tell me about some of the strangest shit you've ever seen as a soldier. Well, for starters, the, the most strangest thing that I experienced was uh, one night we were out in the field. This was during, uh, I think it was, uh, uh, well, it was one of the field uh, exercises we did on active duty when I was in the uh, uh, military uh, battalion up in uh, Fort Campbell. And our squad leader um, decided he wanted to leave the um, us behind for a few hours to be with his girlfriend. Now his girlfriend is like 310 pounds. We're talking like major damn. <laughs> and uh, he uh, just wanted to go to a hotel off post and uh, spend a couple hours while we're so, we're waiting in the field trucks, just waiting, kind of like, all right, whatever, what's going on? Then he brags about it to his platoon sergeant the very next day and he got denargo 15 for that oh my god he's a genius i mean if you're gonna sneak off pose for a whole lot of sweet loving like that you might ought to keep it to yourself you would think but he's he's not the brightest tool in the shed and uh and he wanted to try to like be friends with me after i went to another unit but i was like i'm not having any of that just it was uh it was quite some uh, some good times on Active Duty, for sure. <laughs> the question is, where is he now? He's working at the gas and sit down in New Mexico somewhere. Um, you would think, but at this point, I don't know where he's at, and I frankly don't care. Uh, <laughs> I've had many people that were good NCOs, and I've had others that were just like, I could care less if they were off the face of the earth. It's just, um, they didn't they didn't support, you know, what I wanted to be as a leader, and, uh... If you can't, you know, provide me to be a leader, then I'm not going to worry about you. Well, that's a shame, buddy. I hate that. I hate that. Now, what about some partners? You make some good friends there. You made some friends while you were in service. Absolutely. Um, I've had some I had some friends from the uh, uh, Fox Company, 302nd uh, Brigade Support Battalion from the 2nd Infantry Division. And then the guys that I still talk to to this very day, um, they're out of uh, the 
4th Battalion, 320th Field Artillery Regiment. Um, I still keep in con contact with them today. Um, they're a bunch of great guys. Uh, missed the hell out of them. Uh, particularly the, the people I was with in uh, Gulf uh, Forward Support Company. Uh, we had pretty much the, the best damn platoon that we had. Um, especially we were the we were the main company that able to get you know everything done so uh, the, the cannons can get fired and everyone can move from one position to another and plus uh, they needed the ammo and we were able to supply it to them so we were we were the backbone for that uh, for that unit so uh, miss those guys I talk to them regularly and uh, uh, they're gonna have a kick out of uh, hearing the hearing me talk to you and they're be like how the hell did you do that well <laughs> go to patreon <laughs> i'm gonna even go on and make sure they're following me or somebody's gonna start pushing that's all i'm saying oh well, that's that that's gonna be happening so <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> all right so what you doing now now that you're out what are your plans well my my first plan is is that i'm leaving california in august um my plan is to move to texas um i will kind of refrain from the political aspect because i don't want people getting upset about it but uh california's not that great right now if uh, you're a conservative um in regards to the school wise i am about four classes away from graduating with my bachelor's degree in sports management um i'm hoping to get accepted to graduate school in the same field in fact i should be waiting from an acceptance from one university hopefully in the next couple of days if not the next week or so um and then uh just enjoying the the bits of uh getting ready to graduate from college. I've waited uh, 16 years to to get my degree and uh, finally be able to do it is, uh, is a big accomplishment in my book. Hey, I did the same thing. My man went straight in out of high school, went to college later, but I applaud you for going to school. Did the same thing. And talk to some of these young Joes about the importance of using that money. I got a lot of soldiers just sit on all that money and never use it. You used your GI Bill, I gather. I did. I did the uh, the post 9/11 GI Bill, and it's it's a great tool. To one, um, go to universities that are extremely military friendly. You're going to get uh, more than you bargained for. Um, also, go to the go to the college that you want to join in regards to the the degree program that you want to be involved with. The most important thing is is that don't don't waste you know losing out on you know great education. And not only that, it's free, free tuition free books, you know, you can't go wrong with that. Plus, you also get uh, stipend money per month, so you'll be able to afford paying extra things like, you know, rent, your car payments, all that jazz. Um, and, and if for some people are just, you know, want to maybe pass on to their children, you could do that as well if you feel school's not the right thing for you. But use it. Use it, use it, use it. It was probably the, the God sent that able to, for me to go to college to get my degree and without the military i would not be here right now that's good advice all you young joes that are watching this you're giving that money for a reason don't let it go to waste you know steve you're doing a good job buddy i'm proud of you out there thanks Tom. <laughs> all right well what can i do for you what, what can a little top do for you right now well um but well, i think the most important thing is uh just prayers that i get accepted to graduate school that'd be great um, and for uh, just you know continuing uh, to be a, you know a funny inspiration to uh, to the veterans to the soldiers out there, and I know that you're you're pushing the uh, the opportunities to all the service members you know not just you know you know in the south but you know throughout the country just to encouraging them to you know stay the course stay strong uh, do your SSDs and do all type of leadership courses to get promoted. Um, you know, and, and, and be a leader, not a not a follower. That's the most important thing I would say. That's good stuff. Well, buddy, we, I'm gonna be hoping you let me know about grad school. I'm standing by. I want to hear about that. Definitely, you you will be on the list of people that are waiting for the call for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my man. Be safe going home. Thanks for tuning in. I'll get this video up real soon, and I, it's it's good to finally meet you face to face. Likewise, Todd. Have a great day. All right. Uh, you do. All the way. Thank <laughs> you.